Can't wait to do it. And now to wrap up, I have some audience questions Ooh. that I wrote. You wait, wait. <laughs> you, wait, we're not going to ask the audience for any no, questions. I don't trust You're going to give them the questions. I have three questions that I need you to ask me. Come over here. There's a microphone. I'm going to hand him. You're number one. Who's number two? Step up. You're number two. Talk into the mic. Who's number three? There's number three, right there. I'm really curious what they have to ask after, after everything that they've heard tonight. Okay. Hi, Jack. Hi, Bob. Hi. Um, I haven't read your book, and I don't plan to. <laughs> but I wanted to congratulate you on writing it and ask simply this. My favorite kind of writing is when someone overuses cliched terms and phrases or even just reuses words too often in close proximity. Does your book use this technique? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Perception. What a nice question. Great question. Thank you. Um, do you hate writing or yourself more? <laughs> do I hate writing or myself more? Uh, bef I, this, I have an honest answer to that. Smart ass question. <laughs> Why you? Uh, uh, honestly, before my heart attack, I would have said myself. But you know, the heart attack made me just feel so appreciative of my life and the people in my life, everyone around me, uh, that, yeah, I mean, I hope you feel the same way. You know, a lot of times when people have an incident like that, they have something they need to fix in their life, and they go, from now on, I'm going to do this. And I just felt... As the weeks went by and I thought about that incident and heard about it from um, all the people I love who were there, just how lucky I am and how I need to appreciate my world and the people in it more. So myself, I hate writing more now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Do you like meatloaf? <laughs> that is not what you Sorry, want to Jack. ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I am a young person. Let me sleep on it. Let baby, sleep baby, on. baby, let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll, I'll give, give you an answer in the morning. Sorry. I had to give one for Meatloaf. I want to hear this. I start your question again. <laughs> I am a young person. I want to fail a lot at my favorite thing to do. Will your book show me how to do that? If so, could you crystallize your approach to repetitive failure so I can just skim the book? Also, can you recommend a good book to read? <laughs> so yeah, um, my book will teach you how to fail at the thing you love the most uh, by just sticking to it and never quitting. And um, I can recommend a good book. Uh, my friend Noah Hawley, who wrote Fargo, has a novel out called Anthem that's fucking great. You should check it out. And um, so, yeah, there's a good book to read. Okay, to finish up, Jack, I want to read one thing from my Please. previous book. I don't know if you have a load of hooey, but it's one of my... It's got a lot of fun stuff in it, and I wanted to read this to say goodnight to you tonight. And thank you for coming. Thanks so much. And Jack, thank you again. My pleasure. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. This is called, If I Had My Life to Live Over Again. If I had my life to live over, I'd make, I'd dare to make more mistakes. I'd risk more. Go out on a limb. I'd take longer walks. Feed the ducks in the park. I'd wear thicker socks and eat more ice cream. More ice cream and a better brand of ice cream <laughs> with a higher fat count. <laughs> Gourmet ice cream. In fact, I would stick mostly to gelato. I would notice every bird and give it a name, and I'd write that name in a tiny notebook. But let me return to the issue of ice cream. 
<laughs> I wouldn't confine myself to national brands. I would travel the countryside eating the regional equivalent of premium ice cream. And if I were eating ice cream with you, I would steal yours when you looked away. <laughs> if you never looked away, I would badger you. Are you going to finish that? Are you done? I'll finish it if you don't, until you gave in. For, you see, I have been one of those people who eats an entire box of light ice cream with fewer calories, who orders three scoops of ice cream and says, you know, make one of them sorbet, who offers to share the death by chocolate. I have even eaten an entire box of dietetic ice cream sandwiches in one sitting. What was I thinking? I should have just eaten the regular kind of ice cream sandwiches. I have even eaten popsicles when there was a haagen nearby. <laughs> I did that twice. I remember, believe me. But if I had to do it all over again, I would eat even more, and I can't restate this enough, a higher fat count. <laughs> in fact, forget that shit I said at the top about walking in the park and the bird naming. If I had my life to live over again, I would focus on the getting and eating of ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thanks for your time.